Hello, my name is Asha Cottero. I'm a visiting medical student from Meharry Medical College working in the Longacre Lab. Today I'll be presenting adipocyte progenitor cells embedded in collagen gels enhance bone formation in a murine calvarial critical defect model. Tissue specific stem cells are lineage committed progenitors that are highly capable of specialized tasks and may also be used for tissue regeneration. Adipocyte progenitor cells, or APCs, are unique cells that have the ability to form adipocytes, blood vessels, chondrocytes, and even osteoblasts when isolated. There are current limitations to bone grafting procedures that include mechanical stability and vascular supply to the graft site. The role of APCs in bone regeneration is currently unknown, and therefore we ask the following question. Are APCs sufficient to increase bone formation in a critically sized calvarial defect? In order to answer this question, adult mice were randomized into one of three groups and given 6 mm critical sized calvarial defects. They were sorted into the control group, the gel treated group, and the APC treated group. In order to gather the APCs for the APC treated group, Adipose tissue was collected and then fact sorted and embedded into collagen gels. The tissue underwent both mechanical and enzymatic digestion before being sorted for CD34 positivity, PDGFR alpha positivity, SCA1 positivity, and LIN negativity. This population of cells comprised less than 0.05% of the total cells that were initially harvested. Throughout the study, micro-CT data was also collected and was, is shown here at 0 and 12 weeks. At the conclusion of the study, we also performed histology. As stated, the micro-CT data shown here shows increased or enhanced bone formation in the APC-treated group at 12 weeks when compared to both the control and gel-treated groups. Again, histology was performed and both H&E and, and pentachrome staining support the micro-CT data in showing enhanced bone formation in the APC-treated group when compared to the control and gel-treated groups. In conclusion, this particular population of APCs, CD34 positive, PDGFR alpha positive, SCA1 positive, and LIN negative cells are sufficient to enhance bone formation. It is very important to note that this is a highly preliminary study and further experiments must be done in order to determine how this APC population may influence bone regeneration. Thank you for your attention.